good afternoon from the Universal Orlando parking garage. It's been a minute since we've been here to Universal Orlando. Matter of fact, I was unable to come during the entire Christmas season and I feel, I'm sorry for doing that. I'm sorry we weren't able to come out to see any of the Christmas stuff. And I wish that we had, because it looked really fun, but we're back now. We are gonna be coming back to Universal more often and we're gonna be doing some updates. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't seen because we haven't been here for a while. A lot of changes around the DreamWorks area, a lot of changes just around the park. So let's go inside, have a look around. Maybe we'll ride a few rides. I kind of want to do Minion Blast again. Been a long time since we've done that. So let's get inside, see what's new, see what's happening, and go to Universal Orlando. The first thing that should be noted about Universal, if new to me at least, is here in the hub where all security is, uh, there's bathrooms that are blocked off right now. I have to go to the bathroom. And those bathrooms are the ones that I always go to because like right after you get out of the car, you run into the bathrooms. Those are closed right now for refurbishment, I guess, as well as wheelchair rental. So that's not where wheelchair rental is currently. We're gonna find out where it's at up here in CityWalk. So as soon as we get into CityWalk, you can see there's a sign here that says wheelchair rental is over here by the Hollywood Drive-In. You can see they just have like a little kiosk over here with all their wheelchairs. And this is by the, the mini golf course just to the right of the Cinemark, the movie theater. And then for bathrooms, see the sign that says concierge? Just behind that is where the bathrooms are. I should also mention that if you are a person that films on a GoPro and you maybe need a new battery, need some sort of accessory for it, the Quiet Flight Surf Shop does sell GoPros and GoPro accessories. So if that's something that you need when you're here on vacation, they've got you covered. So as we get into CityWalk, over here next to Vivo, beside Big Fire over here, is the Universal Legacy Store. This is where they would sell things like vintage shirts and they had a lot of old props from around Universal Studios, a lot of history in there. As you can see, it is behind walls because it is rumored to become a preview center for Epic Universe. And I hope that's true because that would be awesome. I'd love to see some concept art, some things like that, excitement building around Epic Universe, their new theme park that is opening up up the street. So right now we've got Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. And then a little bit down the street, we're gonna have Universal's Epic Universe as a third theme park. Well, Universal calls it their fourth theme park because they count Volcano Bay as a theme park. It's a water park. So we're gonna call it their third theme park and they have one water park. So inside the Universal Studios store, we can see they're kind of showing off some of the vintage collections here. So we've got shirts. This would have been some of the stuff that was previously in the Legacy Store. Like this stuff is available everywhere, but this feels like a Legacy Store display. Back to the Future, uh, Backpack, Confrontation here, Jaws. These are closed attractions right now. So, and then Classic Monsters is just Classic Monsters. But let's head inside because this is the Universal Studios store in CityWalk because there's a display here for Minions celebrating the Year of the Dragon. It says Bellow 2024. And there it is, the Year of the Dragon. This is a very angry looking minion, isn't it? I like this though, this is fun. Like they put a little dragon on him. Look at him, he is. He's cool. Oh, he's got a little tail too. How oh, fun. Uh, this is $22. There's also a display over here for the movie Migration that just came out. Did anybody see this? Was it good? It says it was in theaters in uh, Christmas. So I think it's already been out. Yeah, are we there yet? And then like we said, more Universal Studios Year of the Dragon stuff. But then this is cool because it's a mug that shows off all of the different year of, so like year of the mouse, year of the dragon, year of the monkey, pig, sheep, rabbit, tiger, uh, fox. Oh, it's got eating an apple, horse, maybe. <laughs> dog, rooster, snake, cow, and then we're back to the beginning again. Hmm, that's kind of fun. This is uh, $17. And then of course we have an entire section devoted to Tim here, Bob's teddy bear, and a shirt for Bob, because we do love Bob. Look at him celebrating Midsummer right there. Eating ice cream, riding on a unicorn, Hanging out with Bob, blowing bubbles. And this shirt is $23. This is a kid's shirt. What's on the back? There he is. All right, our first stop, Universal Studios Florida. There's a sign here that says there's an exclusive pass holder entrance over this way. 
Uh, I'll take it. It doesn't, uh, the lines don't look too bad, but we'll go do the exclusive entrance. Why not? And just around the backside, you've got the, the special entrance with the new facial, facial recognition software. I haven't seen this yet. That was interesting because that was a whole body shot of me. And then when it was like verified, it was just a shot of my face. And I didn't think that Universal had a shot of my face, but they do, unless they just took it right there. But it was like verified, Tim. And I was like, how, what? Somebody's got a shot of my face somehow in here. And here we go, walking into Universal Studios. Doesn't seem too busy. Minion Con right now is 45 minutes. E.T.'s only 10. Despicable Me is only 45 minutes. That's not, not terrible. Do have to admit, not too bad. So we're gonna do a quick walk around before we get on any attractions, unless we see something that's only a 10 minute wait like E.T. We might get on it. Oh, Villain Con went down to 35 minutes. That's not bad at all. So the next thing that we're preparing for here at Universal is Mardi Gras, and that is February 3rd through April 7th. And on select nights, they run the parade every night, but on select nights, they have musical acts here in Music Plaza. And they just announced some of those musical acts this morning. So this area of the park is called Music Plaza. And like I said, they just announced some of them this morning. So I wanted to go over a few of them. So February 3rd, Walker Hayes. February 10th, All American Rejects. February 17th, LA King. February 18th, Casey and the Sunshine Band. February 24th, Bare Naked Ladies. March 2nd, DJ Khaled. March 9th, Ava Max. March 10th, Queen Latifah. March 16th, Louis Fonzi. And March 17th, Zed. So, some, I mean, good musical acts. A good, like, variety of musical acts, too. If you're interested, the concerts that are here happen after the Mardi Gras Parade and are included with your admission into Universal Studios. So, if you have an annual pass, you can come out to any of those concerts included in your annual pass. And I know that, I know that All American Rejects are a very popular one. I feel like DJ Khaled is gonna be a very popular one. I feel like a lot of them are gonna be popular, but we know for a fact that the park is usually packed to capacity during All American Rejects. Some minor things that have been added, like take for instance, this sign over top of Mobile Pickup, kind of looks like a blender. That was added over here in, like near Minion Cafe. That's the mobile pickup for, Bim for Minion Cafe. Another thing that was added was the Nacho Sombrero. And I think we'll be getting that before we leave the park, before we leave this park today for like a little lunch. It's just like nachos in a sombrero, a little hat. So the only thing is in the movie, the hat was edible. Here it's not. Another thing that we haven't seen since we've been here is this mural up on the, this is the backside of the Nest building, the Transformers building, but kind of over top of Minion Cafe. But it feels incomplete, right? Feels like there should be way more to it. Maybe they're gonna add more stuff as movies come out. You can see Rue Gidget, the cat from Secret Life of Pets, Johnny from Sing, we've got Snowball from A Secret Life of Pets, and Gunter from Sing as well. But there are a lot more Illumination characters. And of course, a minion, the biggest one. But like, yeah, I don't know. There should be more, right? As we head into the area around Gramercy Park, you can see some more lighting towers for the parade for Mardi Gras, but then we also have some booths over here. This will become food booths for the Mardi Gras season because, of course, food festivals and food booths are becoming a bigger part of Universal Orlando. So as we get into New York, recently Universal has been kind of bouncing back and forth with their location for the Tribute Store. So the Tribute Store is a store that is specific to each season here at Universal. And I believe that this will be the location of the Mardi Gras one because the Christmas one was back in New York and the Halloween one was here. So we do Halloween, Christmas, then we come back over here for Mardi Gras. So we'll be coming back in the next few weeks, being on the lookout for any sort of developments as far as the tribute store goes here for Mardi Gras. Looks like the mummy is currently down. As you can see, there are a lot of team members out and about. And we have the characters out here, the spooky stilt walkers that are all muscly, being just spooky in general out here. Another thing about Universal is they do have facades all throughout the park because they can use this whole area for filming. Take for instance, there was a Creed music video that was shot right here. There's a Jimmy Buffett music video that was shot here too. But I wanted to point out something. Luncheon for Ladies is my favorite 90s band. They were the best. They're going off stage but they came back over here and they're just kind of standing there like this, waiting for this gate to open because this is the safest way for them to go off stage. Oh. Oh no, they're pointing at me. That's not good. Now they're gonna go get some coffee. Now that whole thing was kind of neat because there's not a lot of people back here. It's just like by the bathrooms, almost backstage, not quite, but they still like did a whole thing waiting for the gate to open 
They didn't have to do that. That was neat. I thought it was really neat. Like that's a cool way to keep the show going until you're completely off stage. It's been years. Theme Park Pigeon, how you doing? You're walking down the street, pecking at the concrete, having a good day? I think you are. I want you to have a good day. I want you to know that. Another thing that's been happening here is the lagoon has been drained a little bit and they've been working on the fountain show. You can see they're replacing spigots, they're replacing piping, they're replacing lights, electrical, they're doing everything. They're kind of doing a lot of work over here. Everything's disconnected, all being cleaned, all being fixed up and made sure that it works correctly. We don't have an announcement for a new show, but I'm sure this is the beginning of it, just laying out where the fountains and lights go. Also, I think that these huge fountain nozzles over here are new, like new effects, new elements, new show elements. I don't know, I don't remember seeing anything this big over here before. You can see there is a fan element here that would be a projection screen, like a water projection screen. And I feel like this projector here is new. I haven't seen one over here before because usually they're all boxed off and themed. And this one doesn't seem to be themed. Also, it's not connected to anything. So, could be new, could also be old because there's a, a like cut right there. Hmm, I don't know. You can see there is something going on backstage uh, I think they're building a Starbucks, or they're removing the Starbucks and building a new uh, team member type cafeteria. There used to be a team member Starbucks back there that has been demolished and they are working on a new kind of like large cafeteria kind of hangout space for the team members back there. We can't see it because it's backstage, but there is a crane working back there. This little floating dock for a while had the duck. It was like a big inflatable duck from Migration as like a way of promoting the movie. It's since been removed, but the dock is still here. And then across the way, we've got scrim up around the Giardelli building. This is the San Francisco area. This scrim is where the bathrooms are and the bathrooms are open during this refurbishment. I believe it's probably just an exterior refurbishment of this building. Into Fisherman's Wharf over here, the San Francisco area, the, there is a food truck out here that'll probably be part of the Mardi Gras stuff. As we're getting into the London waterfront, we have another universal food truck out here. Still don't know what the food is gonna be, but it is out here. Coming up on the Fear Factor stage, uh, nothing's happening back here. This is usually just used during the Halloween season for nightmare fuel. Right now, nothing's going on. So this will sit empty for the majority of the year. Continuing our way around the park, just passing by a Men in Black alien attack. Nothing really happening over here. So we're gonna continue into Springfield. So as we head into Springfield, rumors have been swirling around it. People are saying that the contract for The Simpsons is almost up and they're thinking that Disney will not renew it because Disney, of course, now owns The Simpsons and Universal has to pay them a royalty for having it here in the parks. I don't know if that's true. Like we said, that is just a rumor. It's just what people are saying and thinking. I'm one to believe that Disney has no issue with Simpsons being at Universal if Universal is just writing a check. But then again, Universal might not want to write a check. So, I don't know. It's a 30 minute wait right now for this ride, for The Simpsons ride. And they did just redo all this concrete out here. I don't know why they would make some changes to the area if they were going to remove the Simpsons from it. Just making our way out of Springfield, heading towards SpongeBob store pants, but also the new DreamWorks land is gonna be over here. It looks like Animal Actors is still open, but they do have kind of like some construction malls over here as well. Oh yeah, stuff is starting to come into view as we make our way around. There's a DreamWorks sign that says, welcome to our land, join the awesomeness. We can see Shrek's house right here, popping up over top of the wall. We can see what they're calling the troller coaster back there. That hasn't been officially announced, but that's what everybody in the community is calling it. Because I think somebody found a permit or a something that had the name on it, like a trademark with the name troller coaster on it. So let's go get a picture with Poppy. Hello, Poppy, how's it going? You having a good day? I have to say, I am very proud of you. Cause like you're on the sign. Did you see that? Look at that. You did it? Or you're on multiple signs? Oh no, there's a bunch of trolls on the sign. Okay, yeah. But like, I feel like you're the main focus. You're the most important in my mind. Yeah, see? I think that that's because Branch is just so angry. I feel like you bring a light into the world and I'm happy you're on the sign. And then Shrek just smells bad. So we won't even count him. <laughs> Is it okay if we take a photo together? Patrick and Squidward in here 
doing their part. Squidward looking bored. Patrick looking happy. Should we go in and meet him? I'm coming in. I'm coming in. <laughs> Thank you. Patrick, how's it going? You having a good day? Look at that. You done anything to annoy Squidward today? Every day, am I right? Oh, geez. Slams his head into the wall and everything. Right? Sounds about right. Look, but how could you be angry at him? Look at him. Look at this smile on his face. Just look at him, right? He said, no thanks. <laughs> Is it okay if we take a photo together? Oh, as long as Patrick, as long as Patrick scoots over a little bit, right? Oh. <laughs> it's perfect. I feel bad. Poppy's out here. Huge line. Patrick and Squidward inside Spongebob store pants. Just like no line at all. You guys should definitely check into Spongebob store pants if you get a chance. Uh, there's a few more stumps back there that we can see in the DreamWorks land. But nothing, nothing else that we can see from inside of the park at least. Oh, they get some green piping over there. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what that's for. There they go. Shrek and Fiona walking past. Hello. All right, now we're headed through Central Park up towards Hollywood. I don't know if there's anything going on in Hollywood, so we'll probably head back this way to go get those nachos. Wait, are we listening to Keiki sing right now? Is Gabby out here? Sprinkle party. Where's Gabby? Is Gabby out here? She is. Look at that. Oh man, I feel bad. I feel like I missed out on a whole Gabby show. People dressed in like Gabby's dollhouse type things. Gabby's out here meeting and greeting. Oh man, I wish I had seen it. I want to show you guys the hours for Gabby, at least today. These could change, of course, but for today, she's out meeting at these times. And there she goes. She's heading back off stage, taking the bubbles with her. And then right afterwards, King Julian coming out, dancing his way onto the stage. So you can see they are setting up a stage here. This has nothing to do with Mardi Gras. This is for Rock the Universe, a Christian music festival that is coming to Universal Studios January 26th and 27th. So just a quick weekend thing. Lots of bands playing throughout here, but this will be one of the stages. So over here in Hollywood, Studio Styles is where the tribute store was for Christmas. As you can see, there is nothing left of the facade and they will be building one for Mardi Gras over in the New York area. Characters out all over the place. Look at Betty Boop over here, probably waiting to get some ice cream. Oh, Velma and Shaggy are out wearing their wintertime attire. Look at that, Shaggy's wearing just like a green fleece, and Velma's over here wearing like a petticoat. So here's something that's fun that's happening right now. So I went into the Illuminations Minion Cafe pickup window, and I found the El Macho Nacho hat that I wanted. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get like a nice, we'll get a Perrier. Treat yourself, right? This restaurant is not currently accepting orders. What? Doesn't even make any sense. Cause I was able to add, like say I wanted to add Minion Tots. Well, the Minion Tots don't work either. But like the, the nacho hat did? Let, what? Let's try the belly filling pork sandwich. But to, oh, if I want to plantain chips, add to order. Yeah, what is happening? I was able to do the nacho hat, no problem. All right, well, I'm gonna like proceed to cart and see what happens, because it's in there. Look at that thing. There it is. Oh, pickup time is noon. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's not too far away. It's like 20 minutes. Well, I went to go check out, and on the checkout screen, it said this restaurant is not accepting mobile orders currently. So let's have a look around inside the Universal Studios store. Why not? Actually, change of plan. Minion Blast, it's only a 25 minute wait. Let's go. Let's do it. I feel like these signs weren't here the last time that I was here. They kind of give you information on how the game works, how the points work, how the blaster works, and some safety information about the ride. Heading into Villain Con. Unlawful Outfitters, I like this. We can see where the family that picked up the minions in the minion movie got their, their ski masks. It's kind of interesting, there's a GoPro set up right there. I wonder why. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. Look at that. Number 17 for the day. 
That's not bad, right? We did great, everybody. Mr. Timothy Tracker. Well, we did it. Now that we're off of VillainCon Minion Blast, we are able to place our mobile order because I guess it's open now. It's after 12. We were able to do it. So I ordered my El Macho Nacho hat and I got a water. So there it is, El Macho's Nacho hat. And this is, it was $8.99, only available at the mobile order pickup window. In the movie, the hat is edible. Here, it is not. It's just a tray to hold on to your tortilla chips and your guacamole. I do wish this was like a traditional nacho though, where there was meat and cheese too. Well, so the, the guacamole was good. It wasn't like earth shatteringly good. The chips were good. They weren't earth shatteringly good. They were like typical theme park nachos or like chips and guac. So I don't know. I like the presentation of it. There wasn't enough guac for the chips, but it did taste good. So take that as you will. I, I wouldn't say like run out there and go get this, this nacho hat. But if it had like nacho meat and cheese on it, that might change the deal. Maybe they can add like an upgraded option to the menu. That I would go for. So the last place that I wanted to stop into was the Universal Universe store because, or the UNI VRS store, because I wanna see if they have anything that might interest me because I don't have very many Universal shirts. See, some of them are pretty good, like this Jaws one. I kinda like these little shorts too. How much do you think they are? $65 for a bathing suit, a Jaws bathing suit that says bite me, like this. See, this is fun too. It's not a boat accident. This is not a boat accident. Huh. Like a fun, like manga. Jaws shirt? I like this tie-dye one too, it's cool. And I do like this Amity Island Swim Club shirt, 1975. It does seem awfully wide, this is a medium. I do like this Richie Rich shirt too, and this ET shirt. These aren't bad. 34 for each of these. Oh no, look, it's got holes in it already. A little bit of built-in wear from the breakfast club here. It says, eat my shorts. Is this 34 as well? 34. You got some fun classic monsters type stuff. And this like, it's like a jumpsuit, tank toppy thing with a, it says for Bride of Frankenstein because it's got a rib cage there. I like this Dracula shirt too. It says children of the night. This one doesn't have any sleeves on it. Do you get a discount for not having sleeves? Nope, still $34. The biggest selection that I didn't think would be the biggest selection is Felix the Cat stuff. I didn't think that Felix the Cat was like this prevalent throughout uh, the, uh, like that people would know who Felix is but I guess they do there's so many Felix things look every single one of these stands is Felix stuff just to give you guys an idea of a Felix the cat comic it says oh no a storm I'm on my way home he's walking home he sees a tornado at the house I guess it threw a lamp through the window smash thank goodness it only got to the living room I guess I better, I guess I better get started on cleaning. Music will make it go so much faster. Well, at least I can get a head start on spring cleaning. And then he's content sitting in his chair. That's the comic. There you have it, folks. That's comedy at its finest. This is a collab between Minions and somebody called Buff Monster. And I like them a lot. They're very cool. I like this, like, ice cream looking guy that's going on here. I don't know if all of them are for Buff Monster, but at least these ones up here. Let's say it are. Oh, and this used to be the Hello Kitty store. Now it looks like it's not Hello Kitty stuff anymore. Maybe it wasn't selling. We've got all kinds of Marvel stuff in here. And I don't know. Yeah, just Marvel stuff. Over a little bit of Harry Potter over yonder and some Simpsons stuff. So far in this section over here, we still do have some Coropian Bats Maroots. Bats Maru. And then uh, the rest of the Hello Kitty store is still the same. Still Hello Kitty stuff. And some Minion stuff too. But it has been condensed for sure. Studio Sweets being on the way out of the park has always been a, a, a weak spot for me. The chocolate chip peanut butter cookie. Oh buddy, gets me every time. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Universal Studios to just kind of wander around and see what was new in City Walk and at Universal Studios. We will be back next week to check over at Islands of Adventure, but I want to split it up into two videos just so you guys could get everything at Universal, and then we'll go over to Islands and make that its an entire video. So, it was a fantastic day. It was neat to be back and see everything that's changed, all the progress that has happened, things that are going on at the park, things that are changing, 
all the stuff that's happening, and we get to ride minions, and we're 17th for the day on it for, for Villain Con Minion Blast. It was fantastic. The nachos were good, the cookie was even better, but the nachos were good. So, can't wait for DreamWorks to open. I like meeting all the characters here, there's a lot of characters out. Like seeing Gabby out there, it was just a fun day. So all in all, a fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.